More than 3,500 Maryland students went missing from class today. Well, we found them right here along the banks of the chilly Chesapeake, and they're doing it for a good cause. It was the peace before the plunge as students waited for their cue to test the waters of the Chesapeake Bay. Some seem more anxious than others. In the crowd, these students from Rising Sun High School in Cecil County. I think it's like a good cause, just like, you know, donate money to Special Olympics, and then it's like fun in a way. It's fun to go out, out there in the cold water with your friends. Uh, I think it's just going to be fun, you know, colder the better. And at a moment's notice, students made good on their promise to plunge, but not students only. We wanted to celebrate a good cause, and Special Olympics of Maryland does just that. Let's check back on those students from Rising Sun High School. How was it? <laughs> I'm really cold. <laughs> Once you went under, it was all right. It makes you want to not move. And to celebrate success. This is going to rival the, the big plunge on Saturday in a couple of years. It's, it just keeps growing and growing, all for our 7,549 Special Olympics of Maryland athletes across the state. Students are telling me they're already making plans for next year. They say this will be bigger and better. In Anne Arundel County, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News. And we will have live coverage from the Polar Bear Plunge tomorrow and all weekend long on WBAL TV 11 News. I'm going to take a dip myself.